Oh, that's right, baby. It is time for J Rocks. For Black Widow. Well, we will answer the question which one was better? Was it the movie or was it the trailer? The response might surprise you. Come on back. Let's do the damn thing. Finally, J Rock has come back to you too. Oh, what is happening? With the millions. <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J-Rock is here and it is time for the one and only movie versus trailer review. Well, we will answer the question, which one was better? Was it the movie or was it the trailer? J-Rock uh, finally is getting the chance to do this. Bit of damn hectic a uh, couple weeks here for the great one. Uh, but J-Rock wanted to make sure that he was here for the millions of J-Rock's fans to deliver, as promised, movie versus trailer review for Black Widow. Um, if this is your first time do watching one of J-Rock's movie versus trailer reviews, you can go all over YouTube and you can see movie reviews, people breaking down the movie, giving their thoughts, giving their opinion. But there's one thing you won't find, except right here on The Great Ones channel. And that's where we answer the question, was the movie be better? Did the movie live up to the hype, or did the trailer oversell the movie? You ever seen a trailer to a movie and just thought to yourself, you got to see this movie because the trailer made it look too good not to, but then only watch it and realize that the trailer was better than the movie? Because the movie just couldn't live up to the expectations set by the trailer. Well, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to watch this trailer. We're going to see what's happening in the trailer. We're going to see if there's any fancy editing in the trailer to try to make it seem like what's going on in the trailer is actually going on in the movie when in fact it is not. So let's do the damn thing. First of all, J-Rock says this. Um, this movie, to me, focused more so on storytelling. But that tends to be the thing, right? With Marvel movies, they hook you with the story. They get you, they tug on the emotional part uh, of your fandom. And they throw in some action scenes, some fight scenes, right? And so uh, it keeps in line with that, much like it does all the other Marvel movies. And so let's take a look at this trailer and see, you know, what is happening, you know, going on uh, with this here. My sister moved out west. All right, so <clears throat> there are some characters in this movie. Obviously, there's a Black Widow. There's her sister. Um, can't remember what her name was. It doesn't matter what her name was. Um, their father. Father. That nigga killed my father. Love we coming to see us. And mother, who were basically there to play a role, if you will. So they had this whole fake family or whatnot. So when I say sister or father or mother you know i'm not talking about you know biological um and so black widow you know is on the run because this this movie happens and this is what j-rock was wondering when he saw the uh the trailer when is this movie taking place well this movie takes place uh right after captain america's america civil war she's on the run she's on the run from shield right um and in the midst of her being on the run, you know, she gets some clues to her past, right? Because um, obviously, you know, she's created in the Red Room and her sister is sending her these clues to, you know, come find her or, well, not find her, but um, try to uncover, you know, the, this mind controlling substance that's using to create other widows like her they're manipulated fully conscious but no choices and so yeah so this is right at the beginning of the movie where you know she just escaped shield and she is you know in some sort of like little trailer or mobile home or whatever you're a science teacher all right so 
this part right here anytime you see this this the screenshot right here so they're trying to rescue their father who i think his name is the red guardian if i'm not mistaken um from jail you know he's in prison uh and so her and her sister are you know going to try to break him out and they need his help to find the red room so this was right at the end when you know they've defeated everybody, you know, whatnot, and S.H.I.E.L.D. has found her, and now they're coming to get her. Husband, he renovates houses. So, again, some little cute editing right here, all right? This, this part and this part right here, two different, two different parts of the movie, right? Cute editing, but not the same part of the movie. All right, this is right at the end where, you know, you see the smoke in the, in the uh, background, She's defeated everybody. Shield is on their way to get her, but she somehow escapes. You're thinking about moving, but you're gonna wait until the interest. That's her sister. Kind of cute too. I don't know what her name is, but she's kind of cute too. Not as fine as Scarlett Johansson, but she ain't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, moving on. That's not my story. All right, so they've kind of you know reunited. Uh, they've been. They were uh, chased by, um, they were being chased by Taskmaster, Master, whose identity, I don't know if that follows the, you know, I don't know all the lore and all the history around Black Widow or a lot of these because I didn't read the comics growing up, but the identity of Taskmaster in this movie, I don't know if that kind of lines up with who he was. It's kind of shocking, but it wasn't like, <gasps> You know, it didn't take my breath away, shocking. It was like, huh, okay. But let's carry on. Before I was an Avenger. All right, so this is the same part right here where she is going back to an apartment and her and her sister. All right, so this right here is at the beginning. All right, that other part was she's going back to the apartment and she finds her sister. Um... This part right here where her car is being flipped over, uh, she is being chased down by Taskmaster, okay? And Taskmaster is no joke. Like, really no joke. And a lot of enemies. His call signs Taskmaster. Yeah, this is the red room where they're training other widows like her. Um, but they're not you know doing it willingly you know they're being mind controlled by some sort of agent or something that you know her sister finds out about he controls the red room they're manipulated fully conscious but no choices yeah and so this is a part of the movie where after they you know um rescue the red guardian her sister they go and find her mom and so they put together this plan that at first looks like they've all been captured, right? But that's not what happens. They've all, this is a setup that Black Widow and her mother put together to try to get Black Widow close to the guy who's pulling the strings or whatever. I can't remember his name. That is correct. It does not matter what his name is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she... And they're trying to inject her with something. I think maybe with more of the mind control stuff, maybe. But she ends up escaping, so. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. So this is the part here where they're leaving the apartment. They get chased uh, by other widows. And then Taskmaster shows up as well. Uh, it was a hell of a good action scene right here. Yeah, this is where it all starts. Yeah, so this is the part where I said that, you know, the families, you know, families back together, but now they're being captured, if you will. A lot of this going on in this movie. Things are not always as they seem. Um, and so they try to fight off, get captured. 
Um, talking to her sister or whatever. Yeah, this is them rescuing the Red Guardian. And that's the mother. Um, who is supposedly part of the plan. Now, I think this is the part where, now, Black Widow wears like this disguise, this digital disguise, to where she looks like her, but she's actually, you know, not. So, it was, it was cool. It was clever. Um, move it on. All right, so this is at the end where, you know, they've overcome Taskmaster and all that there. And the guy who is in control of everything blows up in a ship. Um, blows up in a ship. I only say that because, you know, you don't see him die, but you see the ship explode. So you just assume, but not everything is as it as it seems. So don't be shocked if they do a Black Widow 2, he's in the second one. All right, because you, you would have thought that, you know, his daughter was dead, but she turns out to be Taskmaster. So, so they have a knack for surviving explosions. Moving on. Yeah, this is at the end. This is when her and her mother are coming up with this plan to get captured or whatnot. That's Taskmaster. Yep. They have a good fight scene right here. Um, obviously, Taskmaster lays the smack down. Uh, yeah, that was a part of this movie where I'm, I'm not a big fan of, you know, hearing or watching bones break. Like, that's like, you know, Saw movies where you see bones breaking. I would like cringe or cover my Like, I can't watch that sort of thing. I don't like watching bones break. And there's this part in the movie where the Red Guardian is in prison. And one of the, they're doing arm wrestling competitions, you know, he's got super strength, so he's just, you know, killing everybody. And there's this one guy who says something, can't remember, but he literally, while locked up with the guy, the guy says something, he breaks his wrist, and his wrist is like this. I'm like, oh, crap. You know, it was, it was similar to the whole Conor McGregor thing where he broke his ankle, and the ankle is just hanging down, like, oh, I can't, I, I don't like that. That is just, that makes me cringe. All right, yeah, so these are more Black Widows that are being trained. And this is the escape scene once they leave the apartment, her and her sister. Okay, you got a plan or shall I just stay dug and cover? My plan was to drive us away. Well, your plan sucks. But, you know, that's Taskmaster showing up, uh, blowing up their car. All right, so this was a, a good fight scene here. Here, I actually thought Black Widow was going to hold her own. You know, they just smack down, but you know, uh, strength in numbers, they eventually overcome and subdue her, whatever, but it was a good fight scene, I'm not gonna lie. What ends up happening is that her sister comes in and she has this antidote that counteracts the mind control and she throws out the um, the antidote, they inhale it and now they're like, like, what are we doing, why are we here? And so now they become allies. This is uh, Guardian escaping from prison. The Red Guardian, rather. He's escaping. This is at the end. Uh, she's trying to get through to her, to Taskmaster, who again is the guy's daughter that Black Widow thought she killed in an explosion. But, um, uh, you know, she survived, whatnot, grew up. Now she's trying to get revenge on her. Black Widow is trying to get through to her to let her know what's going on, but... It doesn't really, I think it doesn't happen to the end because she's being mind controlled also. Shield. All right, so this is right at the beginning. This scene right here where they thought they think they have Black Widow cornered, but she escapes. You know, she leaves them on a wild goose chase and gets away. Um, fight scene towards the end. This is the uh, scene where they're trying to get Red Guardian out of prison. Um, hell of a fight scene, though. Not going to lie. I'm done running. Yeah, this is at the end. I can't remember if that's him throwing the shield or if that's an edited part. I think that's just 
um, a, a cute edit. I, I can't remember. You guys let me know. Hang on. I think it's him. Yeah, nah. Now that I think about it, I think that is him. Because that's Taskmaster on the roof of the helicopter or the plane, whatever. This is Black. This is the mother right there. So. So this part, you know, this is right at the end where, as you can see, the ship and everything is exploded. Black Widow's jumping down trying to save her sister um, from, you know, dying or whatnot. And Taskmaster comes in, and this is a hell of a, of a scene right here. This is, this is fire. All right, so J-Rock says this, uh, it's time to answer the question, which one was better? Was it the movie or the trailer? Now, these trailers by Marvel sometimes can be so good that sometimes the movies don't live up to the expectation because they do some clever editing. And so, hmm, which one was better? Wow. The movie was, what, what like over two hours? Um, which I didn't mind because they, it kept you interested. You know, Marvel movies have a tendency, they, even if they're long, they can still keep you interested. Endgame, Infinity War, to name a few. Um, this one was similar to that. But their trailers are so damn good, though. I remember when I saw the Avengers uh, Infinity War trailer. I was like, damn. Damn. But that movie was better than the trailer. Endgame. Endgame was more of an emotional roller coaster. Um, this movie takes place after Civil War. Oh man, which was better, the damn movie or the trailer? This and the reason it's so hard is because it's a testament to how good their trailers are. But with that being said, we have to say this: as good as the trailer was, the movie lived up to the hype. So in this case, the movie wins. The movie wins. Oh my god. Um, but it's not like it, it blew the trailer out the water. Right? But the damn movie, it would. Damn. It's action sequences, the storytelling, fight scenes, you know, the explosions, the CGI. Man, a lot of that crap was just. Man, it was good. It was good. And the trailer. Damn, the trailer really sells this movie. I tell you what, man, this damn trailer was off the chain. Uh, but now, it's, it's your turn. You have to decide which one was better, right? And here's 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 how, here, let me let, let Jerry give you a few, few tips on how you can decide which one was better. What were you more excited about after watching it? Were you more excited after watching the trailer? Or were you more excited after watching the movie? Because if you were more excited after watching the trailer, but then you watch the movie, it's like, okay, it was pretty good. Then the trailer was just better. Not to say that the movie was bad. Don't get it twisted. Just because I'm saying, just because if I say the trailer is better than the movie, I'm not saying the movie was bad. I'm just saying that the way they put the trailer together, just the, the, the movie didn't live up to the expectations that the trailer set. All right? It's, it could still be a good movie, just just not as good as the trailer. That's a testament to their, you know, editing with the trailers. However, in this case, in J-Rock's opinion, the movie was better than the trailer. There were so many things more going on in the movie, not than what in the trailer, obviously. Not going to tell you everything, but that tends to be the whole Marvel stick, if you will. So you tell J-Rock which one was better to you. If you've seen it, uh, let me know in the comment section, the movie, the trailer, which one was better and why? Why was the movie better than the trailer? Why was the trailer better than the movie? 
or I don't tra understand the trailer is only two minutes long and the movie is two hours. Um, but let me know down in the comment section. If you enjoyed J Rock's movie versus trailer review, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Let the world know that the YouTube people's champ, J Rock, is here. And be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell how J Rock is cooking.